Okay, today I'd like to read out the influences behind the Ice Warriors, this particular Doctor Who serial. The reasoning being I can't really give a true assessment of this missing episode 3, although I will say from the reconstruction that they've put together in the 2000s, I believe, it seems very entertaining. And I'm, the, the, the job that they've have ever accomplished is, is quite extraordinary, I'm not going to lie. Real archaeology influenced the idea of the body buried in the glacier proving to be an alien. In the serial, when he is found in the ice, the chief warrior's space helmet is initially mistaken for a Dark Age battle helmet of the type discovered in the archaeological dig at Sutton Hoo in 1939. Notions about Mars, current in 1967 but now known to be mistaken, also affected the serial, such as the supposed nitrogen atmosphere of Mars, which causes the ice warriors to have breathing difficulties on Earth, a production error this, since even a 1967 production team member must have been aware that the Earth's atmosphere comprises four-fifths nitrogen. Listen, unlike a modestly budgeted science fiction TV show, I don't think that is the kind of thing that they would know. I mean, depending on what they were particular, say, amateur or outright experts in what what like high school science teachers would know that off the top of their heads the theories of a nuclear winter and a new ice age were the basis for the setting of the story maybe more science teachers than i realize i just maybe i just have a poor opinion of them because what well, because it's just a, you know just anecdotal stuff the scripted dialogue disputes between the scientists represented a then current real life debate among scientists over the validity of those theories i think those are a bit dated now actually the idea of rover manipulation had previously featured in the moon base and would reappear in the enemy of the world that's the next serial after this one which followed on from this story and would also return in the next ice warrior story the seeds of death clint states that the cause of the ice age is the lack of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere as there are few plants left so produce less of it because the needs of feeding an ever-increasing global population have made the growing of traditional crops impractical both this story and the next the enemy of the world have at their heart global food shortages caused by overpopulation, a powerful fear in real life in Britain during the 1960s, driven in part by memories of the genuine food shortages arising from World War II. Brian Hales was inspired by an article he had recently read about the discovery of the well-preserved corpse of a woolly mammoth, which was excavated from the Siberian ice in 1901. He was also intrigued by the planet Mars, and wondered what some of race, what sort of race could conceivably have flourished in its environment. These notions led him to imagine a scenario in which a Martian was discovered on Earth, frozen in a glacier, and then brought back to life. Wonderful stuff. We'll conclude here. Thanks again, my good and dear friends. Appreciate it immensely. For episode four, we'll be giving an assessment of the available episode itself via a recording off of a television, I believe, not the initial archived um or copy itself or would have been archived damn they junked it anyway thanks again my good and dear friends appreciate it very immensely